So we found some mobility limitations in the backside of the forearm, making it difficult for you to bend the wrist like so. So this is an advanced technique to help improve that mobility. So you're going to set up in front of a table with a nice soft towel rolled up. You're then going to lean your torso over the table and you're going to place your wrist in this position like so. You're then going to stabilize your hand against the towel like this. Now, I don't have a lot of weight going through my wrist right now. I have a lot of my weight leaning into the table and through my legs. I am not supporting my body weight with my wrist. Please don't do that. Okay, so now I want to straighten my elbow. So I don't feel a stretch right now. If I, if I just did this, I would feel a stretch. So make sure you lean, then straighten the elbow, and then take the eye of the elbow and turn it away from you. So bring in the forearm in towards your midsection. And so now the eye of the elbow is pointing that way. I'm stabilizing my hand, and now I'm going to slowly start to lean back. So I increase the angle of wrist bending as I do that. I'm going to do that very slowly, and right when I start to feel stretching through this part of my forearm, I'm going to back off once I start to go past like a 3 or 4 out of a 10 on a 0, 10 intensity scale. I'm then going to push my wrist into the towel like that with 10% of my max effort, making sure that the elbow stays straight and the eye of the elbow points away from me. So I'm pushing into the towel roll very gently, 10%, 10 seconds, hold, relax. After I relax, I'm going to see, while keeping the elbow straight and turned out, I'm going to back up a little bit, holding that, breathe, hold it for the prescribed period of time, after which you are going to train the opposite muscle group, so keep the elbow straight, keep the eye of the elbow pointed away from you, and then you're going to resist with the other arm, trying to maintain that elbow bending position to train the newly gained range of motion. Uh, just a word of caution here, when you start to do this type of drill, you might get a rebound effect, or in other words, after you release the stretch, you feel a lot of achy soreness to this area. That's okay as long as it doesn't last for more than 24 to 48 hours. If it does, you might want to back off on the intensity and back off on uh, how long you hold it for. So make sure to take note of that.